Hi ladies, hi gents. I want to share a video with you today and it's a design team project for Fernley Designs and as usual I will pop all the links down below in the description box and um, thank you Lou. Okay, so um, this is a Fernley matchbox. So I'm just going to show you the back of it first. So it's one of Lou's matchboxes and they are so cute, really really cute. This is the, the drawer to the matchbox and you know it comes where you build them and I absolutely love her products. Um, so I'm just going to show you the drawer first because um, I didn't do anything with the inside or the base of these because I didn't want to add paper because I didn't want to make it too thick to slide in and out of the matchbox. Um, you know, I wanted it to be, you know, uh, not too thick that it wouldn't slide in and out okay. But I did put paper on the inside and I did, did ink all the edges. And then I did add paper at the two ends and I also added um, some of these gorgeous little charms that um, Lou sells. I love these, they're so perfect. This size is just too cute. And I've just popped a tiny pearl in the centre to make it look like, the draw, like a drawer handle. Now if I just show you, because Lou does sell some small embellishments as well. So that's them. And they are so cute. Uh, so that's the drawer. And um, the matchbox, I uh, just um, just sewed very slightly the edges and inked them up. And I also added paper and inked the edges of the paper and put that all the way around the matchbox and then on the top this is the top um, I just wanted to embellish it quite simply um, so I used a couple of pieces from Fernley on here one of them is this corner piece and these are gorgeous really really gorgeous and do you know what they gesso and ink so well so this just has a very light coat of gesso and then I ink the edges with my distress inks so if I just show you you will just see how the difference so this is it in the plain wood and that's it with the gesso and the inked edges so it's very subtle and I absolutely love these corner pieces they're one of my favorites actually <clears throat> uh, so that's that piece and then there's this beautiful heart which I absolutely love and this is the only one of these that I had so I can't show you this um, in the plain wood but again, I lightly gessoed it and inked the edges. Isn't that a beautiful heart? And then you'll just see at the bottom of the heart, I used one of the... Sorry for the noise. One of the small metal corner pieces that Lou also sells. And that fitted perfectly onto the bottom of the heart. It was just the most perfect fit here. And then um, I just embellished using, there's a tiny um, doily behind here, which you can just, just about see peeping out here. And uh, I then used a let me see if I can show you a metal bead cap in here that I popped some um, rosebuds into and also these little um, they're actually bead findings the, oh gosh what they're called that you put through the beads I can't remember but 
and I just added them because I wanted a little bit of something different peeping out between the rosebuds uh, there's a, a small uh, metal rose in there a couple of uh, chrysanthemums and another rose here one of the tiny little um, wood pegs, Lou also sells them one of these again slightly gessoed and ink the edges this is a, a <coughs> excuse me metal leaf from my stash and then just hanging from underneath the chrysanthemum I have a cherub a love heart that says love and then a key and the key does actually come from Fernley's as well which is one of these ones um, and I just thought those three they are movable uh, little metal pieces hanging down just gave it a really cute look and this is actually the first like matchbox that I've altered and actually I really enjoyed it <laughs> um, it was a nice little piece to work on it was real fun and I'm thrilled with the the colour com combination and the way it turned out um, and these um, matchboxes are so sturdy beautiful as a gift box and um, so cheap you really need to check out um, Fernley um, loose wood pieces are just amazing and great value for money so please please go check out uh, the store and I like I, I hope you like the product gosh I'm having trouble speaking today I hope you like the um, project that I've made with with loose pieces gosh that was a bit of a bit of a hard work it's too early in the morning that's what it is <laughs> and I've been trying to film this all week and I just haven't had time and I thought I must do it now I must do it now anyway so I really hope you like this and um, I will I hope that you will go and check out Lou's store and um, the link will be down below in the description box and hopefully I'll be back uh, either today or tomorrow with a, a small haul that I want to share with you so I'll say bye for now and I'll speak to you all soon.